Today marked the official end of high school sports for this year with the second day of both the boys Class A and Class B state golf tournaments taking place. In Wapaton, the Class B title, it came down to between two golfers. Aiden Hall from Northern Cass and South Borders' Zach St. Alban came into the day tied at the top, each at one below par. On their 17th green, St. Alban, he had one stroke lead, but here he had to settle for par. That's what Hall would swoop in. He ties the score back up with this crucial birdie putt, and we move into the final hole. He has the lead. Whoever wins this hole wins the state title, and it will be Aiden Hall. He finishes five pars, five strokes ahead to beat St. Alban, who wins the Class B title. He'll finish the tournament at 148. St. Alban tied, finished for third overall alongside Central Cass's Cole Holzer, who had an excellent second round. Carson Colseth from Bowman County finishes close behind Hall in second. Central Cass is your 2023 team champion, shooting 33 strokes better than Oak Grove and Botno, who tied for second. Cheyenne have another excellent round today, finishing as state champions for the third consecutive year with a total score of 5.79. Red River takes the second, and Century rounds out the top three, shooting an impressive 295 on the day. Cheyenne's Nate Pearl is the 2023 state champion. He shot a 70 today, which sees him total with a finish of five below par across the two rounds. It was history in the making when Beulah became the first team from the East to win the Class B title in softball. It's a feat which couldn't have been possible without head coach Kyle Christensen, who's in this week's Sports Spotlight. It's been a crazy week for Beulah softball coach Kyle Christensen. On Saturday, Christensen led the Miners to their first ever Class B state championship. On Monday and Tuesday, he had the opportunity to coach the West's all-star team. Yeah, been a bit of a whirlwind. Um, the three days in mine out of course, pretty stressful, a lot of anxiety, but uh, got, got done what we wanted to get done. So this has been a little more relaxing. They contacted me last fall to ask if I would do this, and uh, I was pretty confident Taylor would be on the team. So of course, uh, was looking forward to this uh, at, since last fall. Um, yeah, it makes me so happy that his hard work coaching is getting recognized too, as well as Brecken and I's achievements on the field under him. And he just knows so much from the coaching aspect that it's fun to show that off to all the teams in the state. Whether it's his players or his assistant coach, Kyle has left an impact on the people he's worked with. I couldn't think of anybody else that's more deserving, you know. Um, he, he's a great coach, knows the, great, knows the game. In the short amount of time that him and I have been coaching together you know I feel like we've done some great things for each other and with each other you know. He treats all of us like his own daughters so that's pretty awesome. Um, sometimes there's coaches who kind of have their favorites but he's not that one I don't think so. Though these accolades reflect his hard work and success coach Christensen doesn't think the focus should be on him. Well, the focus has always been on the girls. I just do what I can to try to help them. Um, you know, one thing I talk with the girls a lot is everything everything that I do and say as a coach is meant to help them improve and get better. So the focus is always the girls, helping them achieve their goals. There's no baseball scores today. I mean, no softball scores, but there is baseball scores. The Twins lost on a walk-off home run, while the Larks lose in Mankato. In Legion Ball, the Chiefs.